Well, I think first of all is to just express mm. um, our sympathies and, uh, you know, uh, for these families that have lost, you know, their loved ones always mm. in a present way, like you just mentioned, uh, in the hands of lethal and, you know, uh, fears, uh, battle and, uh, you know, uh, from the banditry. Uh, I mean, uh, although I think it's been a long time coming yeah. for this kind of uh, decision to be made decisive uh, by the heads of state. Mm. And uh, let me just say that congratulate him because uh, I appreciate what he's just done because then they needed to be a final conclusive decisions on mm -hmm. this matter. Mm -hmm. Because the longer it stays, it was confirming that any militia group can have a free hand in, you know, uh, going for a killing spree. Yeah. In domestically in this country, mm -hmm. and in the front of the, uh, you know, ministry and high government delegation officials. You'd remember two weeks ago, when Professor Kindiki was just having a baraza, and then uh, there are pictures that circulated that these bandits, actually just a few distance, just lighten a fire, to show that, you know, we are in control. Here is a high delegation, powered government delegation, but some meters away, mm. the bandits are, you know, up in arms. So I think it was a long time coming for the head of state mm -hmm. to actually reassure, mm. uh, you know, the people in Kerio Valley and in, uh, you know, Northern Rift, mm. that the government is in charge. Mm -hmm. Now, there is another thing that we also need to consider on the procedures of making that kind of decision. Normally and legally, mm -hmm. and uh, I would have hoped that we have a legal expert, that all these decisions goes through a legislative assembly yeah. for final ratification and final confirmation mm. and given affirmation. Uh, but here I think there is a gazette notice. There is a statement that has been made by the Minister of Interior for, you know, uh, that this needs to be a curfew and mm. dust to don't curfew. Uh, for 30 days in six counties that have been mentioned. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, a few hours later, the Minister of Defense, you know, issued a gazette notice and a special gazette uh, that there would be a joint uh, military operation mm. between the Kenya Police Service, the and National the Police KDF. Service, and the Kenyan Defense Forces. Mm -hmm. As to how that will, you know, the process, I think that is within now the arms of the institutions yeah. to make sure that that is rolled out. But the thing is that I would appreciate what the head of state has said affirmatively. There needs to come a time when now the government has to stop yeah. in authority yeah. and to save lives and to reassure peace and security mm. and to restore normalcy and make sure that people go to school and make sure that there is enough water to drink, okay. that cattle are safe in certain when, regions when you, when you in When you talk on that, Daniel, you know, yes. at the end of the day, there is that bit of political goodwill because in the past we've seen, even the former president said that certain politicians are behind this. But much as that was being said, there was no political goodwill to combat this kind of, uh, you know, um, of banditry. A day or two ago, on Sunday, former RC um, Rift Valley, who is now the governor of, of Transoia, said that these people were exchanging bullets for goats. Yes. That's how bad the situation yes. has gotten. Yes, and, 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 and even say that, you see, this part is now, we, they've reached a point that mm. the bandits are even daring. There you have it, the you paper see, there. Yes. They're even President daring and goes to a mm. GSU camp to even request for bullets. Actually, he said you see, for Njugu, to party Njugu. Yeah, quote you know? in quotes, I think that is for, yes, for, 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 for bullets. bullets and armory. Mm. Uh, here it is, uh, uh, Victor. We have seen uh, that the escalation and authority that are given to bandits unabated mm. and uncontrolled is significant enough to contribute to an instability of a country. Mm. Internal insecurity escalates. And this is why you've seen it was in West Pokot. How many counties are we talking about mm -hmm. right now? Six. Six. And it's ongoing. It's now going to Nakuru. It's now going to other regions of this country. It will soon hit Transoia. Mm -hmm. And when it's hit Transoia, now it's hit in Western, in Western Kenya. It took a decision to eradicate, you know, um, uh, you know, the insurgency in Mount Elgon. Mm -hmm. 
because it reached a point mm. where now the militia were now marauding mm. and they were now even confident as the uh, the former rc have said mm. it actually signifies an escalation to a mm. country mm. i will tell you in the state of kaduna in nigeria mm. we are having bandits that have been marauding for years and the allegation is that they're being sponsored by the kaduna government you know el rufai i yeah. said i quote what is being mentioned in papers this is not me saying this was so brazen that it occupied the whole of the northwestern states of nigeria that has even escalated to this election the nigerians are happy case in point that is why i'm saying that it took the whole decision of a president of republic of kenya to say that the government has to be in control but there is another dimension you've mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. the political goodwill the political that's where my now, point is the now. rc gave an account and even warned, even as partakers of the citizens of Republic of Kenya, mm. unconsciously, mm -hmm. being the partakers and being the okay. contributors when you look, when of you the bandit that look is at, going uh, on. The operation is going to happen yes. starting today. Yes. Uh, it's, um, it's a joint operation between, you know, um, the military and the police officers. So it's, it's, a, it's a broad based kind of an operation. But they said that a particular group of, you know, politicians who are behind this are the same people who see the security council whenever they have regional meetings they're the same same people who will come in these meetings but the question somebody will ask where do these arms come from uh, you see that's what you know, i'm where, saying where do they come from because when you have an m16 rifle yes it's it's not normally even for normal police officers to have it to have it's, m16 it's, rifles and, and that's why i say that once banditry now become an organized crime okay mm -hmm. it is now look at it metamorphosize from cultural mm. because w before we were talking about it in a small scale people would still well, yeah, go to and, to and, and, and you pay see, dowry, to pay dowry it's and, become, it's become and then now it metamorphosized it, it grew up to a commercial and mm. heavily bankrolled process mm -hmm okay mm -hmm. where now it's it's even industrialized that you know cattles can be stolen and people uh, you know killed but then there is an allegation that this meat is now being processed and even being exported mm. you see how that is now lucrative yes and that is why you see that people can get so brazen because if you be seen to be standing on the way of this lucrative business and commercial now mm. that is being bankrolled by you know people quotes in power that you've alluded to then it now becomes a killing spree. Anyone who wants to have an intervention now, you and I at our level might not even intervene. Mm. And this is why it took the whole heads of state and the whole government now. And it's become even a process where even the Ministry of Interior, the National Police Service alone, was not able to contain it. Mm. And that now this, the government has now to invoke, you know, uh, you know, provisions in law and now have to deploy the Kenyan Defense Force. And that comes with advantage. Yeah. One, I like the broad-based, you know, multi-approach towards this issue. Mm. The National Police Service has seen that now they would provide maybe, uh, you know, uh, intelligence uh, to where these high hideouts are, mm. intelligence to the escape routes, mm -hmm. where these bandits are always escaping, intelligence on how that, you know, um, always uh, the complexities and the nature. Yeah. But I appreciate that the army is now going in to flush this out. But there's always another thing that we also need to say on set. Mm. Let us be cognizant of the fact that, that wherever we send our defense forces, mm. there is always casualties involved. And, and let us be very cognizant of that fact. And I believe they're going okay. to have a, you know, a, a well-calculated operation because at the end of the day, life is at stake here. Um, you, know, you know, these bandits also camouflage. Yes. At some point, they'll come back and present themselves as, as innocent, as innocent you know, people. Uh, yeah, you you know, know, yeah. they, they are residents of that particular region. For them to come back and attack again once everything is done. And that's why I'm saying yeah. the involvement of the national police at the intelligence level mm. to provide real-time intelligence for interventions. Yes. That is why I'm saying. Mm. We've seen this as worked out in Mount Elgon mm. as well. But of course, the were, you know, the, 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 the Saboti Land Defense Forces, mm. you know, wh that's why I'm saying it has even metamorphosized where we can even have defense forces within this country. Mm. 
that, that in itself, you know, brings a lot of issues. It, with the, the gentleman was called Matakwe. Yes. Remember Matakwe. Yes, and all this. Yes. And you remember uh, uh, the, the, the former members of parliament, mm. Fred Capondi being mentioned in these issues and all that. You know, we are just quoting what Pepper said by that I, time. I remember you the see, headline it, when it was Saitoti who was the minister for defense. That is why I'm saying that, yes. you know, we really need, and I like what the president of republic says, we need an honest conversation. Mm. Who knows that wherever he was making that declaration, there were poli there were members of parliament who are sympathizers mm. to this kind of castralizing. Mm. So I think for for me, it is to come up with the decisive decisions. Mm. That even as one of the issues that have been involved is to provide amnesty. I think it's for three days for those who owned these guns to surrender them. But even as they are doing that, uh, although there is a different uh, issue that comes with it that has been mentioned even with the RC yesterday that there is a tendency that when amnesty is given to return people to return guns they might not return all that they have they might return maybe what they uh, not the sophisticated weapons so i think it's important even as these is uh, you know amnesty is given that there should be a process to fast track if there is uh, an issue that cannot be fast tracked for people for this process for this intervention not to have the do harm and you know enroll and actually we see more harm than good after this operation i think mm. this is very critical for right. us you know that, as there, a is nation a, to there is a cartoon here as we come yes. to a close uh, daniel there's a cartoon here on the front on on the daily nation um hmm. director let's get that caricature it's always have good to have mm -hmm. you know too much work and let's play will always make us dull people on set all right. Uh, we have that uh, cartoon. Mm -hmm. There is a... Uh, shortly, you'll have it. But as we do that, it's a cartoon that is affiliated. There we have it. Perfect. Can you zoom it slightly, if you can? Uh, yes. On that side, we have got two ports. One port is opposition, and in that middle, there is that... The, the love, the love, you know, love thing, opposition. Mm-hmm. And on this end, we have government. Now, look at the gentleman on the other side in a yellow shirt. That is President William Ruto. Uh, we have got two pots with very long spoons. And these spoons have, you know, both ends. You can eat on both ends. Uh, the president is eating from the position. And on this end, also uh, licking the other side of the spoon. That is Jalas Baba down there. Uh, we have got Sabina Chege <laughs> in a Jubilee <laughs> t-shirt. I must believe this must be in handcuffs. Uh-huh. You know that gentleman? No, I <laughs> to, 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 to know, but I think it should be from the opposition, or probably one of the independent, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, coalition or independent the gentleman who was, uh, who, was, who was arrested and put behind bars in the industrial area. Um, well, Serious, yeah. it should be Waluke, Waluke. Um, you know, General Waluke. <laughs> General Waluke is yes. in handcuffs, but still, you know, using the spoon to scoop from the government pot, and on this end also eating, and there, you know, there's love in the air. Look at that. W what is this? What can you make on this? It's Valentine's. We have Jalas, we had Sabida Chege, and Waluke in handcuffs, still tied to the spoon and you have the president also eating from the position what do you make of this caricature very quickly i, I think i think it's it's the dalliance of uh the opposition mm -hmm. the azimio and the government what we are seeing is that the president being a political player mm. uh is you know providing goodies is providing promises to be loved from the uh, for the opposition appealing to them yes um and and actually they are also drawing from the pot mm. of the government uh in the name of probably development projects we haven't seen, develop <laughs> we haven't seen <laughs> development projects but you see uh that that, that the they, valentine goodies uh, they, are, they are valentine goodies but 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 let me let me let me say this as as we are concluding you said we are concluding mm. um we have a politics uh, their political nature do not really allow us to operate in betweens. Mm. Our politics is that you either stick to government or you're in opposition. But why the long spoon? You know, it's, there is it's, no it's, in between. Why the long spoon? When you look at that spoon with both, with both yes. ends that yes. you can scoop on both sides, why the long spoon? Why not so close? There's opposition and the government. 
there's a very big gap between yes of course of parts. course of course of, of course because of obviously that there needs to be a gap because uh, the you, law, tra you trade carefully you trade carefully because then you are not able to uh, you know uh, scoop once uh, you know just <laughs> once for all and be assured there must be an, an in-between processes mm. that you need needs to be very careful about mm -hmm. And you test, uh, you know, as you as as you also be careful. That's where you see Jalas is even wondering mm. if uh, you know he goes back testing or or is just the end of it with the long spoon. So who should be careful in this situation? The president or the I think people? both parties because uh, because both parties there is if, if if oppositions become so much in dalliance with the government. Mm you see actually that begin, beginning to backfire is not done uh, careful mm -hmm. and you've seen pronouncing free from the azimia coalition leader that there is no nothing like going to look for development projects on the same other side the government needs to be very careful not to onboard opposition mm. because that then there is a danger of what they're saying like we do not want to have something that happens in the handshake mm. where you onboard a lot of opposition members and then they come and rock the party in 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 uh, you know as as you're sailing through but, yeah but, but, but that, because that is also a point yes. of discussion a point of concern yes. we have got legitimate members of uda yes. who are elected and yes. now you have got these new members joining the boat and, and, and what this is their position is, that, that's why you see there'll be a lot of backfire and there's a lot of suspicion yeah it exactly happened in 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 in, in the government uh you know a post handshake you mm. could see mm -hmm. where people are not comfortable with working with some members of the perceived opposition by that time mm. but even this time it could be more uh you know uh more on the extremes because the president would have to have want to have a majority and cr have members and even have time very early. to gel you see, and and have to come together and work that working relationship very early because the number of yes. things that needs to be passed in the national they assembly, were against that, all those things exactly Remember what Jeremiah Kuni said, if I can take you back, uh, Daniel, he said that one of the reasons Azimio lost in an election was that they had several parties who were supposed to come together, but it took them a lot of time for them to come and gel and to have that trust that Jubilee was coming to team up with ODM and all those other parties. So for them to gel and have trust on each other yes. was somehow a hindrance for them to come together and work as a team and that is why they lost an election perhaps this one also the president will have a lot of work uh, you know to bring them together and say you know what much as you are in the other side of the of the aisle now this is where we are and uh, moving forward w which is also that's why i'm saying for him to mm. tread carefully especially with the uh, you know the vote rich mount kenya mm. uh, that would be uh, you know disenfranchised by onboarding mm. a lot of uh, you know members of the opposition party mm -hmm. coming on board so mm. i think the gelling and you know um uh, confirmations yes. within these political parties as they cross over or as they cross uh, you know uh, under it could be very important that they should trade carefully mm. when it comes to you know gelling and bonding with the opposition. Daniel. Um, well, because I know you'd want us to. I, I think is first of all is to uh, is to just um, wish mm -hmm. as a happy Valentine's Day as members are going outside yes. to celebrate. Thank you. Uh, but also is important for us to uh, think critically about issues that are affecting this country. Have mm. a sober conversation uh, on on matters. Uh, that are affecting the country uh, and soberly discuss mm. within our spheres of Thank influence, you. within Thank members you. of parliament or our own as citizens of Kenya, to actually know that we have a country, but also be very careful that most of these things we face, mm. um, drought and all yes. these things are due to climate Thank change. So I think it's important for us to for have a conversation. One, uh, on that particular line. Daniel, thank you so much. We have a pres national prayer day and of course part of that is to pray for the country, for the drought, for long rains and for the economy to stabilize. That will be happening at the Nyari National Stadium from around you know, 8, 9 thereabout until 4 p.m. And President William Ruto will be in attendance as well as top government officials. That is where we cap it on the people and daily wow one hour gone just like that thank you it's been a pleasure it's been a pleasure yes. all right remember it's valentine's day and uh, ramaguko will be in studio shortly there is a very interesting debate all about love and that is why you can give us uh, a picture on what our set is about director there we have it it's all about valentine's all about everything you know the red tie we celebrate the day and month of love thank you for being a part of the show my name is victor Lo. have a good morning